OK, so the Māori electorates are a big, big story. Um, he, it was just a bloodbath out there for Labour, wasn't it? I was just um, revelling on the fact that Mark just called me Wikipedia. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm just, just trying to work it through that. No, yes, um, look, I, I was, you know, love Lara. Some of the things I, I would challenge on that, I think that, in, in, you know, Nanaia uh, Mahuta does have a legacy. Um, but I don't think people voted against Nanaia. I think people voted for, for the new movement. Mm. And if you are working out there in Te Ao Māori and with Fano Order and any of the Ho Order and in the Kura and the schools, and stuff, you actually would have noticed the, the movement of the Party Māori. It was big, it was strong, it was bold. It's everything that Rawiri talks about unapologetically Māori. Mm. They had a massive TikTok, Instagram campaign, <laughs> and you know, 70%, as Rawiri mm. said, of Māori are under 40. So I think they just hit home, and I think the next election they'll be even bigger. Yeah, this is interesting, isn't it? Is the trajectory of that party. It was decimated, it's been building back this term. Now there's this generational shift going on, which could be very powerful powerful, Dita, when we turn up on the knocking on the doorstep of 2026? I think that's true. Um, I commend the Māori Party. I think they did very well. But they can be unapologetic about things like co-governance, and that's where they attracted the vote, people who are very pro-governance. Labour has a more difficult task in that they have to sell co-governance mm. to non-Māori New Zealanders, and they failed in that. Yeah. Um, but... That is a harder task, and I don't believe that... I think the Māori Party need the left bloc to see their dreams come to fruition. So I think although they're unapologetic and they're, they're very insular and they're very pro themselves, and yeah. as they should be, they do have to work um, with the left bloc because this is not the cynical, pragmatic key government that's going to reach out to the Māori Party. Mm. They, they've actually you know, positioned themselves in a way that they're not going to. Yeah, well, they have really leaned into this activist energy in order to uh, boost their profile during yeah. this parliamentary mm. term. But actually now, do they have to do something different? I don't know if they will or not. Um, we'll have to wait and see, I suppose. But it's a different proposition that they're in now with uh, more MPs. Uh, it's a different phase that the party is entering. Do you think, Mark? Yeah, yeah it is, totally. Um, <clears throat> just going back on that, though, I think... We've seen, um, <clears throat> excuse me, generational change here uh, with Ferris and Mapabi Clark, mm. who, who I really liked this morning. I, listen, I was listening to her on the radio and she was saying, she, she had a sense of humour. She talked about what the gas, the petrol bill was for driving all around that electorate. Yes. And I just think there's a freshness there. It's, it's generational. But it's now up to Nawiwa Packer and... Rawiri to really mould this into a, a real party. Yes. Uh, I don't know. Me, they keep the game. I think, I think you, know, you describe them as a new activist energy and they'll probably love that. But, they, <laughs> but, but you know, the people who are into party Māori are probably wouldn't see themselves as, as, as activists. Mm -hmm. They would just see themselves as te tiriti centric, you know, mm -hmm. living mm -hmm. every day mm -hmm. as Māori, you know, for Māori, you know, doing all those kinds of things. So I think that's, that's interesting. I think that also, I agree with you, Dita, that, they, that the Labour Party didn't explain some of those really important and kind of icky kaupapa because they're too difficult to explain, yeah. but also... We didn't, as, as journalists and media either, we weren't very good at explaining. And I think as a country, you know, we're, we're always social change is happening. It takes us a little while to get our heads around, like, what is co-governance? <laughs> I don't even know but myself. Already but actually, anyway. co-governance is everything yeah. we're doing. Yeah. I'm working yeah. in co-governance with Mark sometimes, you know. I'm here with you yeah. doing co-governance. It's everywhere. And I think you're right, it was explained poorly and they've paid for it. We are going